and welcome to Crafts with Ash DIY Decor. My name's Ashley and I am so excited to be decorating my coffee bar for Halloween. Now this will be my last Halloween video because you know what comes next, the most wonderful time of the year. But I thought I would add one more as we're beginning October to get you through and hopefully you get lots of ideas on how you can make your coffee bar spooky and so perfect for your witch's brew. But first, if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the little notification bell so you can get notified anytime I upload a new video, and then hit the drop down menu and click all so you're notified about all notifications. Then jump on over to Facebook and Instagram and let's get social. Give me a like and follow there to join my crafting community and see behind the scene content I know you don't wanna miss. In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna be making an exciting announcement, so make sure to have those notifications on so you can find out what it is. All right, so for today, this is my mom's coffee bar. If you've been following me for a while, you know that me, my husband, and my four-year-old have been living here for literally almost a year, and so I've been decorating my mom's coffee bar all year long, all the different holidays and seasons, and I've been having so much fun creating DIYs and fun things to go on it. So today is no different. I'm gonna take you through everything I made, and then I am gonna add in some DIYs in this video that we're gonna add to make it go from drab to fab. I can't believe I just said that. Anyway, let's check out what we're adding. Okay, so here's just an overview of the pieces. Now, as you see here, I have my tear tray decor that I made in my tear tray decor video. I will have that video linked down below in the description box so you can check that out. I also have this awesome tiered tray. Look at that. When I saw it, it it's actually a three-tiered tiered tray, but I had to take a plate off because it wouldn't fit on the coffee bar. Um, but when I saw this at Home Goods, I had to have it. And I believe it was only $20. So obviously it was a steal. So then of course I have my Ray Dunn pieces. I'm gonna set up a little coffee area. Well, the whole thing's a coffee bar, but you'll see. That'll make more sense. So I just have a lot of my DIYs that we're gonna be adding to my tiered tray and adding a bunch of other spooktacular things. Okay, so as always, I always wipe off the coffee bar. I've already done that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start decorating. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put some creepy cloth over the coffee bar to make it a little bit more spooky. So let's get to work. Okay, so now that I have my creepy cloth on my coffee bar, I'm gonna add my Keurig back to the side. I'm gonna put my tear tray on this side, so come along with me as we decorate the tear tray. All right, so of course we're gonna start off with this amazing tiered tray. When I saw it, like I said, I had to have it. So I'm gonna put one of my little potion bottles, and that's just water and food coloring, and then my home sweet haunted home sign. Next, I'm gonna put my little skeleton truck in the front, and then my uh, rolling pins, my DIY rolling pins. Now, don't forget, I made all this in a tear tray video and I will have that linked in the description box below. Next, I'm gonna add my uh, eyeball garland to the little skeleton hand. I thought that was kind of funny. And then I'm going to add a little spider. Now we're gonna move to the bottom and I just have this little orange riser that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna stick my 31 October sign on top of that and then my book stack right in the front and then my spoons kind of behind the books. Next, I'm going to grab my little Ray Dunn mug that says magical and inside I'm gonna put these straws that I found at Dollar General and they were only a dollar. I always like to add straws to my coffee bar. I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> then my little gnome is gonna be placed right in front of my coffee mug. I have another little potion bottle that's gonna go in the back and then my headstone in the very back. Then on the top, I'm just gonna add in this little spider candle and that completes this tiered tray. I absolutely love how it came out. I think the colors are so fun. It's so traditional yet so spooky. What do you think?
As always, I'm going to add a mug to my Keurig, and I loved this Ray Dunn mug. It says Halloween on one side and happy on the other. Okay, now that we have my tear tray on this side and my Keurig on this side, obviously I have to put something in the middle, so let's hop on up to the craft room and let's make some spooky decor. All right, the one thing about all of these DIYs coming up, they are so easy. So I picked up this purple tray from the Dollar Tree, and then I picked up these ornaments, and I took four of them. Now, I wish that I would have had four eyeball ones, but I only had two, but that's okay. It ends up looking really cute. But I took like the little hangers off of the ornaments, and then I'm just going to use my scissors to cut off where those little hangers are. On each of the ornaments then by using my hot glue and super glue I'm just gonna glue each one to the bottom of my tray to make little feet for the tray and of course I'm putting the eyeballs facing out and they that's gonna be the front of my tray and then because like I said I didn't have you know enough um, eyeballs I'm just gonna use the purple so then, just to kind of tone down the shininess of that tray, I'm just gonna dry brush some black uh, paint all over the top of it, and that was it. That made this really cute but spooky little tray to hold some candy jars, which of course we are going to add some candy in in just a little bit, but I thought this was so easy to do. It really only cost $2 to make, and it was so fun. So now that the tray's done, let's make some candy jars. So I picked up these two jars from the Dollar Tree. This one is extremely easy as well. All I'm gonna do is hot glue a skeleton head to the middle of each one of the lids, and then I'm just going to paint those black. And I did have to do a couple coats of the black paint, uh, because I am using acrylic paint, but to get really good coverage, I did use a couple coats. So that was how easy this part was. And I really thought that, you know, I wanted the, the whole coffee bar to be kind of cutesy, not really, you know, like spooky fun. So I thought that these were the perfect amount of spooky fun. So then after my skull heads dried, I took this orange ribbon and I cut off the wires on either side because I need to make these a little thinner. So then after I cut off the wires, I'm just going to cut this piece of ribbon in half. So I'm just going to cut it right down the middle. <laughs> so then once I had my pieces cut, I simply just hot glued the ribbon around the middle of the lid. And I did that for both. So like I said, all of these DIYs today are so easy. Anybody can do it, any skill level can do it, so they're super fun. Real quick, I wanna take this opportunity to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you're new, thank you so much for choosing to stop by today. I really hope that you love what you see and choose to stick with me a while by subscribing. If you're returning, thank you so much. You know I love you, I appreciate all of you, and I'm loving going through all of the comments and replying as best as I can, but please, please, please keep leaving comments because I love reading them, and I just, I appreciate all of you, and I can't wait to show all of you new content coming up soon. All right, so now I'm just going to hot glue this one around that lid and that was it to these jars. I didn't want to add too much because I knew when I added candy it would make it a lot more colorful. But now it's time to put my candy bar together. All right, so now let's put our tray together. Look how cute this is. And we're just gonna make a fun little candy station in the middle of the coffee bar. So I just started off by putting my tray in the middle of my coffee bar and then I'm gonna add my two jars that we just DIY'd right in the front. And then I'm gonna add these two wine glasses that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm gonna add a smaller wine glass right in the front. There we go. 
And then I found these black candy jars from, or I'm sorry, gumball machines from Target. They were $3 and they're glass. So I put those on either side. Okay, now we have this all set up for a candy bar. So now all we have to add is the candy. So I picked up these little zombie fingers from the Dollar Tree and I just stuck those in one of the little um, wine glasses. And then those syringes I thought were so funny. I could fill them with Jello or Kool-Aid or something. Then of course I have to add my favorite peanut M&Ms to one of the little jars we DIY'd. Then in the other one I'm going to add some candy corn. And then to the smaller little cup I'm gonna add some eyeball chocolates that I got from the Dollar Tree and I thought that that made it look so fun you're gonna have to let me know down in the comments what is your favorite Halloween candy then to one of my gumball machines I found this pack of like jewelry um, you know that jewelry that you eat but it was so deep inside that I actually took the bag that it came in, I stuffed it in the bottom, and now I'm just gonna stuff these in and it worked out perfectly. And then to the other gumball machine, I have these suckers and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna stick the um, bag at the bottom and then I'm just gonna throw in my suckers. Now, I know what you're thinking, Ashley, why are you putting out all these this candy when your four-year-old's gonna get a ton of candy? Eh. You can never have enough. Okay, well, now that I got my little candy station all set up, obviously I feel like I need something to hang right here, so let's go back up to the craft room and create something fantastic. So for the sign that I am going to make, I took two of these welcome signs, and I loved these because it had like jagged edges. So I did cut off the hanger on one of them, but on the other one, I'm going to keep it on there. So then I'm just going to flip them over and I did put the side with holes in the middle because hopefully they'll get covered up and then I'm going to attach these two signs together by using the jumbo popsicle sticks from Walmart so I actually one of the little tricks that I actually learned was to hot glue the popsicle sticks over the um, hole that way when you go to stick your spackling in it doesn't fall out the other side so now I am just lining these up I use so many because these are actually bowed like the signs are bowed but typically I wouldn't use that many popsicle sticks then I flip my big sign back over and now I'm gonna use my hair dryer and my scraper my little uh, knife scraper there to get off the tags <laughs> and you all know my struggle with the tags so I'm just gonna use my hair dryer to heat it up get all the adhesive off and then scrape the tag off one nice thing about this sign is that this one is super easy to create as well all right, next I'm gonna sand down where that glue was just so it's nice and smooth. Then I'm gonna take my Dollar Tree spackling and I'm gonna fill those holes. And then once that dries, I'm gonna sand that down too. That way this board is ready to paint. After that, I'm just gonna use some black acrylic paint and I'm going to paint this entire sign. This is your friendly reminder that if you're loving what you see today, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Not only does it really help my channel to grow, but it tells YouTube you love my content and want to see more. So hit that like button. After my black paint was dry, I just took some uh, silver metallic paint and a chippy brush and I'm just going to dry brush that over this black sign. I kind of feel like adding the metallic paint gives it a little bit of more spookier vibe. So I've been loving adding gray paints to all of my Halloween DIYs this year because I just think it just takes it up that extra notch. So I am paying attention to dry brush over the edges and the corners, the sides. <laughs> then I'm gonna take these wall decals that I got from the Dollar Tree, or I'm sorry, window decals, 
and they say trick or treat. So I'm just kind of positioning out the trick and treat. It was a little big. Now, ideally I would have liked a long sign, but I didn't have anything long enough. So I had to do this big kind of wide sign. You're gonna see it's a little too big for my space, but I think it looks okay. So to adhere these down, I'm just gonna put a nice layer of Mod Podge on my board and then I'm going to stick those decals back on and I'm going to use my brayer tool to go ahead and roll over it to flatten my decal out get out any bubbles that brayer tool comes in handy so much. I actually have a link uh, to it in my description box below. I got it from Amazon, but I love it because, like I said, it really helps with the bubbles and Mod Podge. And I love Mod Podging things, and this just makes it easier. So I, after I have the trick and treat down, I'm going to take the ore. And I put the ore, obviously, in the middle right there. And then at first I went in and added some candy corn little stickers that were on that sheet as well to either side of the ore, but you're going to see in a little bit that I do actually change it. But to seal this down, I'm just going to put a layer of Mod Podge over this entire board. Then to add just a little bit more spooky effect, I'm going to take this spider, which I believe is actually supposed to be glow in the dark, I'm not sure, but I took it off of one of those tinsel spider webs and I just hot glued it to that big open area. Now at first I hot glue it going in one direction, then you're going to see me actually take it off and switch it around. I just thought it looked better going that way. But hot glue seemed to work just fine to make this stay down. And then to complete this sign, I just took more of the little candy corn decals, and just kind of put them all over my board. I did make sure to put Mod Podge underneath the decals and then Mod Podge over it to make sure that they stay in place and that they won't come off. I loved how this little sign came out. I thought it was so simple to make and it was a lot of fun to do too, and I love, love, love all of the colors. I just think that my coffee bar came out so fun and festive. So don't forget to tell me down in the comments what is your favorite candy, or what is your child's favorite candy. Or let me put it this way, what candy are you going to be stealing out of their Halloween buckets this year? <laughs> So after I had all of these little decals Mod Podged on, this sign was complete and now it is time to add it to my coffee bar. All right, well, here's our trick or treat sign. I thought it came out so cute and it was so simple to make too. So I'm just gonna use the command hook to go ahead and put this on the wall over my coffee bar. So I love using command hooks for things like this. That way they can easily come down when I am done with it. Now, like I said, this sign was a little too big. You're going to see that the treat on the bottom is hidden. I would have ideally liked a long sign, but like I said, I didn't have a long enough board and I didn't have any really anything I could use to create it. So I just went ahead and went with this and I thought it was still really cute. I thought it was still really fun and added such a neat little effect there. Now to hide the command hook, I just took some spider uh, rings and I am just going to put them on the hook. Now I am going to switch this out eventually. That's This is just what I had on hand at the moment, but I'm probably going to add like a bow or something to cover that command hook up better but that's just what I had so I just thought I would go with it but all in all I think this little section came out pretty fun 
So right next to my mom's coffee bar, she has this little cabinet. So I thought I'd add some fun things to that too. So I put one of those trays down first and then I put this stacked Ray Dunn coffee mug set that I absolutely loved in the corner and then these to-go cups that I got from TJ Maxx and they say witch's brew and it comes with lids and then the little uh, warmer cardboard thingy <laughs> that goes around it and I thought that this was so fun. Okay, now that I did this little coffee station, I thought it would be fun to use some things that I found at the Target dollar spot to make some coffee themed Halloween DIY. So let's hop up back to in the craft room and let's do that. So from the Target dollar spot, I picked up this little chalkboard cauldron. It was $3. And by using my Cricut, I printed out these decals. Now my, my measuring was a little off on this and it, it does go over the handles a little bit, but I think this came out really fun, but I love this little phrase, hocus pocus, I need coffee to focus, and that's exactly what I did, and I made sure to do the hocus pocus and coffee in a different color so they stood out more, but pretty much I'm just lining up all of my decals, getting them how I like, and then I'm going to use the little uh, scraper tool to put my decals on my little cauldron, and it was as easy as that. So this was a really fun hack. I did not use this as a chalkboard, obviously, but I, you know, I was able to still use this little cauldron. So I thought that this was perfect for my coffee bar. Now when I put the two focus on, it was a little too long, so I did have to go through and move all of the letters closer to together. Like I said, I just had a measuring problem <laughs> this time when I was making this. And once that those letters were moved, that was complete. All right, then I found this bat at the Target dollar spot as well, and again, it was $3. So I started off by taking off the tag, and then again, I just used my Cricut to print out this really fun phrase, and it says, just add scream and sugar. So I thought that that was so perfect for a coffee bar, but it gave that touch of Halloween as well. So once my decals were on, it was time to add them to the coffee bar. So I added the bat to that little spot next to the coffee bar and then the cauldron next to my Keurig. Now I'm just gonna go through and add some final touches. I have this really fun Hocus Pocus Ray Dunn mug I'm gonna add next to the tear tray and a Witch's Brew pumpkin. And that completed my coffee bar. Let me know, what do you think? I have to be honest, I think that this is probably my favorite coffee bar this year. I don't know if it's because Halloween's my favorite or I'm just loving all of the colors or I did go, I know it doesn't look like it, but I did go a little bit more simple on the bar itself. So I don't know if that's it, but I am loving how this came out. I think that it is the perfect mix of spooky, plus fun, plus all the candy, I'm sure is going to be a big hit with everyone in the house. So you're gonna have to let me know down in the comments all of your thoughts. What do you think of my coffee bar? What is your favorite little DIY? Do you have a favorite DIY? Have you started decorating for Halloween? It's almost time. <laughs> if you loved this video, don't forget to check out my other decorate with me as I decorated my mom's mantle, created an apothecary, and for 
front porch for Halloween. I also threw in some DIYs in those videos as well. So I'm sure that you will love all the bewitching crafts that we did there. They are on my video page of my channel. So be sure to check those out. And like I said, this will actually be my last Halloween DIY video of the year because we YouTubers need to start getting into Christmas DIYs. So prepare for that. And because I absolutely don't want you to miss a thing, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little notification bell so you can get notified anytime I upload a new video. Also hit the drop down menu and click all so you're notified about all notifications. And as always, a thumbs up is always appreciated because it really, really helps my channel to grow. Plus it tells YouTube that you like my content and you wanna see more. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you got a lot of great inspiration and ideas on how you can decorate your home for this Halloween season. Well, until I see you again, I'll decorate and craft with you soon. Bye!